Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I will show you how you can model a tap assembly in KTAV5. This was requested by one of my subscribers and I thought that I will make it for the subscriber. So here is the first part, that's the tap handle and I'm going to show you how you can model this. So firstly, let's open up a new part and you could rename that or you can just start off with it and this is a drawing which I got from, uh, from her and uh, this is what we are going to create this is the bottom part from where the order comes and this is the top part this is getting assembled over here and once you turn the order is going to get through this and that's how we control the flow and this is isometric view. So let's start off with uh, the design. So firstly we'll concentrate on this part and here you can see let's firstly see the model. So this is a model here. As you can see I made a sketch like this and I did a shaft for here and uh, then I made the next sketch and I did another shaft so it's very easy so I'll show you how the process works so as of now let me hide this and start off with the tutorial so alright now let me make this particular sketch here to make this you need to create two axes so the first horizontal axis I'm sorry that was not supposed to be like this so I'll delete it and I'll create the new axis let's follow the blue color and the next thing as you can see here radius 65 so making the axis this point as a center just draw a circle and uh, specify the circles radius as 65 and then come back and now you're going to create only this portion here only this portion so let's just concentrate only on this portion so let's make another axis right here and let's uh, trim the remaining portions because we want to concentrate only over here now let's just zoom in a little bit and now we got another circle of radius 20 over here so let's just draw that circle keeping this as the center radius 20 now we got another circle over here and now let's see what are the other values that we have now we got 12.5 uh, uh, there is a constraint of 12.5 over here so let me just draw a line or an axis that is at a distance of 12.5 12.5 and let's trim this off the remaining part now we got uh, an intersection over here now we got a circle we don't know the radius of it but we just know that uh, it makes a tangency over here and here so this is a tricky part we just create a circle press the shift key so that uh, the constraint is not created automatically and now you can use the constraint and make this coincidence and make this over here as tangency 
and use the arrow mark and pull this a little up and you have another constraint given, given here that's 8 mm so you can specify this distance as 8 and trim off whatever is remaining so all right now we know that uh, here the radius is 5 now let's come here and click on the point and then specify the radius as 5 now that creates the curvature over here and now let's just uh, select the three lines four lines I mean and use the mirror command and mirror this now we got this uh, particular portion over here and uh, let's see the remaining part of the tutorial in the next video I hope you enjoyed and if you have any doubt on this video please comment below the video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned